The top high school basketball teams in the North and South have one more game to get through before they can play for a state title. The regional finals in classes A through D are all taking place across the state today. And we're going to start in Augusta with the Class D South boys top seeded undefeated Forest Hill taking on number two Temple. Forest Hills captain Brandon Gilbo has got the moves dancing around the defense and getting the ball to fall. He had a game high 27 in this one. Temple trailing by 16 in the second. Nicholas Blaisdell misses his first attempt but finishes strong for two. The Tigers proved to be too tough to handle. Dalton Gregoire with the three point play as he goes to the rack and one is going to push his team ahead even farther. Forest Hills rolls to a 69 47 win and is heading back to states for the fourth time this decade. For the girls, it was a battle of the Lakers, top ranked Rangeley against third seeded Greenville. Greenville up by 18 when Hallie Pelletier goes off the glass for two. She led her team with 17 points. Greenville kept pouring it on in the fourth. Jessica Pomerlo all alone out in front. She lays it in to bring the Greenville lead to 24. Rangeley not giving in. Lauren Eastlack drains the triple from way downtown. But it's not enough. Greenville returning to the States for the first time since 2010, 41-20, the final score. To Bangor now for the D North Finals, the number two Royals of Jonesport Beals battling fourth seeded Skank. The Wolverines were hungry in this one. Isaac Adams finds a path to the hoop to give Skank a 14 point lead. The Royals trying to fight back. Look at this quick passing and then it's Ryan Alley. He shoots the long three from here and it's nothing but net Skank kept up their high speed game after that. Travis Thompson is going to pick off this pass and he's going coast to coast. His 1000th career point. Congrats to him. Skank is celebrating tonight after the 70 47 win. Next, a 1-2 matchup between defending state champs Southern Aroostook and undefeated Deer Isle Stonington girls. The Warriors leading in the second half. Captain Cassidy Mathers gets the rebound and the putback to put her team up by 15. The Mariners making some moves now. Here's Lillian Gray. She nails the three pointer from the top of the arc to close the gap to nine. But that's as close as the Mariners would get. Sydney Brewer should get the basket from under the hoop. She's now one point shy of a career thousand points. Good thing she's got one more game next week. Southern Rustic wins 62 to 49. Moving to Class B North boys top seeded undefeated Herman battling number two Caribou. This game was close throughout this fourth quarter three from Junior Parker to pray put Caribou ahead, but not so fast as Cody Hawes stepping back and knocking down the triple, but it's too little too late. Caribou safely inbounds the ball to run out the clock and take home its first regional championship in exactly 50 years. The final score. 43 to 40 for the girls third seeded Waterville facing top seeded MDI. The Trojans got off to a hot start with this steal from Alex Clarito. She's going to coast to coast as well for the easy lay in and everything was easy for senior Hannah Chamberlain. She knocks down the triple and sets a new tournament record with 11 trifectas. That performance would help lift the Trojans over the Purple Panthers 44 to 35. For the B South boys, eighth seeded Wells went to work against number three Cape Elizabeth. That's Caleb Corey burying it from downtown. The Warriors led 14 to eight midway through the second, but Cape Elizabeth came back. Nathan Mullen, don't give him that much space. He swishes the tray to bring the capers within two and then a great hustle play by Andrew Hartel. He misses the first layup, but he snags his own rebound and banks it in to tie the game at 15. Wells led by three at halftime, but Cape Elizabeth wins at 39 38 to head to the state championship against Caribou. And last but not least in B South, the top ranked Gray New Gloucester Patriots take down the three seed Freeport 42 to 31. They advance to their third state title game in four years. They play MDI. We'll be 